I am now at the next antique mall and here I'm gonna film a little bit more. I didn't get to show you the things that I actually purchased from the first one um, because there was people walking around and I didn't want to be weird inside of there. So I will show you all the things that I got in the last video and this will be the new one. In here I did find a lot of stuff the last time that I left behind. Um, I was really quick in there. Um, I had only like an hour before. I had to go pick up the kids from school, so I got a little bit more time this time. I have about two hours. Uh, no, I still have about an hour and a half. So we're gonna run through here again, but now I know which booths to go to. So I will take some videos inside and we'll see you in there. All right, so straight into the first booth and I already grabbed three things from this section. Can you guess what they are? What would you have grabbed? So this is the first item that I grabbed. It was an $8 planter with a squirrel on it. Thought he was really cute for only $8. And another planter for $8. That was the cat one right there. And another planter also for $8. I also grabbed this little decanter jar. I thought it was really cute. I was hoping that I was going to be able to buy it, but it was $40. I cannot remember what it was. I think it was Shawnee, but I'm not 100%. I did see the Wedgwood dish there and I looked at it, but I think it was like $25. This one was pretty, but it looked like it was part of something. Each one of these were Occupied Japan. Um, they were, I think, $9.75. Ducks. Didn't even see the tag. I'm sorry. This was pretty. It kind of looked like a big powder jar. I don't think it had a price on it, or it was all part of a set. I'm not sure. This was heavy, but the marking on the bottom was kind of weird. I, I didn't really read what it said, but it was a lot of words. This was weird. I think it was $90, and it said something about teeth and breath on it. I don't, I don't know what that was. That was a little Limoges trinket box and it was $15. She had some, or this person had some cute figurines. Just checking the beaded purses again. Didn't really find one that I liked as much as the one that I got at the other place. Except for this mesh mesh one here, but she wanted $40 for that bag. I think all the rest of them were 20 They just didn't stand out to me as much as the other ones did. I did kind of like this one, but it looked too bridal. Sorry if this makes you dizzy, I was kind of running around a lot. This whole booth was 20% off and I didn't really notice that at first because I was in such a hurry. These are cute. That 
found a plate. What is it? Nippon, maybe? I don't remember. Here's the plate that I did buy. This one was a Noritake lemon plate or a nappy plate. It was $7 and then the 20% off. I think that matches the set from the other store. These didn't have any markings on the bottom. They were $9, 20% off. There was some Amari plates down there at the bottom. That looked like Moritake. Those just had some numbers written on the bottom. I don't even know what that was. My plate. I lose this plate multiple times and have to hunt it down in all these different booths. I want one of these trees so bad. The little one was $90 and the bigger one was $125. I think those ones are made by Westmoreland? Pretty sure. I just bought one of these, the smaller one, for $9, and they wanted $30 for these bigger ones. Pyrex refrigerator dishes with the lids. This bowl was $55. It felt kind of enamel. How much was that? I don't know. Obviously too much for me. A lot of brass. These were so cute and I wanted them so bad, but they were $40 a piece. One was for cocktail cherries and one was for cocktail olives. This little bird one was really cute, interesting, $11. Some brass pocket change dishes, they were extremely heavy. Run, run, run to the next booth. I like some of the stuff in this booth, um, but it's kind of high priced. There was not as much in here as the last time I came, so she must have had a sale that I missed. She has a Wedgwood tea set in there. I think it was $95 for the three pieces. Just checking them to see if they were marked. Checking the Wedgwood. I love Wedgwood. If I find it for a good price, I always buy it and I never list it. These she had all priced individually, a mushroom set. I think there was a salt and pepper shaker and two canisters. These were $225. Why? What were they? Do you know what they were? Because I didn't even look. This little planter was cute too with the two dogs on it. And I think she had it for 18, 20. That was too much for me. This glass she has listed as Murano, but it seemed very, very thin. Not that that means anything, but it just did not have any weight to it. I looked at it the last time I came because it is 50% off, I think.
That's a velvet picture back there with the dogs on it. The cobalt blue is the one that I'm drawn to the most of all the colored glass, and I normally look at them. It was a vintage compact with some broken makeup in it. I think she wanted 25 for that. I liked this vase back here. It was very interesting shaped, and I know the shape of the bottom, but I can't, can't think of who it is. I'll have to look it up. I'm part of a glass group on Facebook. Still can't get over these $225 salt and pepper shakers. I like this set of glasses with the pitcher. The colors on them are really nice, but some of the color was coming off of a few of the glasses. That teacup, I think she had for $30 and it was all cracked down the side. I like this booth too. Um, I look at a lot of stuff in here, but I don't think I've actually ever bought anything out of it, but I like to look at his stuff. And I don't know why I decide if they're male or female by the time I walk in, but I think it's just by the kind of stuff they have in there. This was a little teapot, a pearlescent or luster owl. It was 15 That was extremely light and had no markings. It's a little basket with a sleeping cat top. I don't think this one had any markings on the bottom either, but it was glazed very nice. I'm not good at figuring out what things are when they're not marked. Salt and pepper shakers in here. Thought those ones were kind of cute. Some little ducks. Plastic. Some little Wade figurines, green glass, setting my plate down. This I really liked and I thought about it and I picked it up a few times. It was $10 and it had these little glass dogs inside of a glass and metal case. Something about it was just really cute to me. This dog I loved. I don't know what it was about this dog, but I picked it up two times. Probably should have bought it. I'll probably buy it on the next trip. Bulldog. box again. It's really cute. I don't know why I, I'm, I'm drawn to that for some reason. And this little dog again. Just looks really cute and they're really happy. That one was made of wood. Waltz graph. That's the village print. A bunny planter, green glass, some blue milk glass. So that one had a blue line, so I think that one would have been 25% off. Some of the things had stamps and some of them had lines.
It's a Westmoreland hand-painted milk glass. I saw two of those at the other one that I was at. I like them with the hand painting. I normally don't like milk glass, but with the hand painting on it, it, it gives it something a little special. Some more salt and pepper shakers. And we're off. So I came back to this little section um, because I did find some things in here last time that are now gone. Of course, buy it when you see it. This little owl was cute. It was $6. I almost took it. I set it on my plate. And the bunny. Thought he was really cute too. I think that one was also $6. I also put him on my plate. And then I found these for $5 and then they were 25% off with that stamp. And I added him to my plate. And a little poodle was also $5 and 25% off. So I ended up taking the two dogs and leaving the other two because they were cheaper and they were on sale. I really did like the owl though. This was a bigger West Germany figurine. So it's just a little brass box. It looked like it had magnetic hairpins on it, but I think that was supposed to be a bow. That was a lipstick case. I was trying to open it with one hand and it wasn't working. And we're off to the next one. So I'm trying to hunt for a specific booth and I can't seem to remember where it is. This one I came back to because the last time they were having a sale, 25% um, off I think. And there was a vase here that I wanted to get, but the sale was over by the time I came back. Some coffee cups. So here's the vase. It is $25. Fenton, Fenton um, painted black vase, but without the sale, it wasn't really worth it. It's probably not even worth it with the sale because it's doesn't really sell that well. And we're off to the next one. That one had a lot of Christmas in it, so I skipped it. Um, this vendor has a lot of milk glass and depression glass. Now I'm trying to remember which way I'm supposed to go. I liked the edging on that plate. The lattice work on that one was pretty. More milk glass. A lot of milk glass. Plate down. They had a lot of creamers down there at the bottom, but most of them were not marked. The ones I picked up were not marked. This one was $20. I don't know why it wasn't marked on the bottom. Grab the plate.
Didn't even look at the cow creamer. Set the plate down. And more salt and pepper shakers. Again, they're all priced pretty high. I really like this set because I do collect cactus and succulents. And they were $10, I think. But then I realized one of the flowers were broken. I probably would have bought them to keep for myself. These ones were kind of cute with like bulls and donkeys carrying the salt and pepper shakers. Grab the plate. It's better to shop with a basket or a shopping cart, but I like to grab handfuls of things and then run to the front and then run back to where I was. I don't know why. They have like two carts and I just feel bad taking one of the two. What if somebody else needs it? This one had just handbags. I really liked this one. It seemed really interesting. I don't even know if this is actually vintage. And I don't remember how much she wanted. Maybe 20. But the clasp was broke. It was inside and I don't know if it could have been repaired or not. Other than that one, I didn't really see anything that was interesting. This one was just really gaudy. Although I do like gaudy things. I buy a lot of Betsy Johnson, so that kind of stuff is... I'm always attracted to. So we're running and not spending in much time because I do have to make sure that I leave in time to be able to get the kids from school. So we're just scanning quick. Trying to make it to the place that I want to go to. chickens, hens on a nest. There's quite a few different companies that make those and they still make them now so it's you gotta make sure that you're checking for the the mark on the bottom. This little bowl is interesting. I think that one might have been one that glows in the black light. Still haven't found the booth I'm trying to get to. More Wedgwood. Always have to check the Wedgwood. I think that one was $25. Which is a little more than I'm willing to pay for them. This is um, the Dragonware, and some of them, if you look up, they have a design in the bottom. That one did have it, and there was a teapot with um, the set. This was a Jim Beam Decanter Poodle. Just the head. Looks like we're trying to spy on somebody. I kind of liked this candy dish. It had a pretty color to it. But again, not something I would want to keep. It's like a little toothpick holder. I think those were occupied Japan vases. There was two, one with a boy and one with a girl. Benton vase, seventeen fifty. That's not good prices for them. More Wedgwood. Always have to check. So a small plate and an ashtray, and then this is um like a pin tray, and that said. Bermuda or Bahamas or something on it. It's kind of weird. My daughter bought some cassette tapes out of here. 
And then I had to hunt down a Walkman for her. Kind of liked the color of that one. ACDC, she bought Iron Maiden. I just bought one of these from Goodwill, and I think the one I got from Goodwill is a little bit bigger for $4.99. This one I did check the price of. I thought maybe it would be something special because it was a bicentennial plate, um, but he actually was selling it for more than what they're selling for on eBay and on Etsy. So he has good prices on his, his glass items. I kind of liked this dish. Um, he had it on sale for $15 with butterflies. Kind of liked that one. That one had the kind of smoky color. I'm drawn to more that look like that. This was a Las Vegas ashtray made by Treasure Craft. I know Treasure Craft sells well, but I didn't know about it having the Las Vegas on it. This I really liked. I don't know why I did not buy this. It looks like it was probably made by someone, but the colors on it were really nice and the, the shape of the spout was interesting. If that's still there the next time I go back, I might buy that. So here's the little glass figurines. Um, I did end up buying one of these. I bought that one. Something about him that was really cute. And I also wanted to buy another bird one that was in here. This one. I just <laughs> His tail was really long and he was just really interesting. Uh, but I did buy the pigeon looking one. And they were $4 each. I think that's all Fiesta. This is the other booth that I really like. Um, I did buy these plates to add to my other plate and I ended up carrying around a lot of plates. So these are RS Persia. There were three, I believe, of this design, and I bought all three of those. Some really ugly carpet. That one was pretty. That one was hand-painted. Celery dish. That was a pretty play too. I'm gonna have to come back to this booth because they had a lot and I just could not carry all of these plates at one time. And I think those are the other ones that I bought. I bought four of, nope, it's those ones. I bought those. Um, those are also RS Persia. So I ended up buying four of those and then the first set, there was three. There's my other plate. Counting, counting how many I bought. They were each $2. Some more ugly carpet. This 
sliding my plates out of the way so I can continue to look without having to hold the plates. Reached across to another booth. Found some more plates. I'm gonna have to come back and buy more dishes probably. So there were these really nice figurines up here. This bear was $197. And there was quite a few of those type of figurines. Always check the Pyrex. I love, I love Pyrex. Trying not to film people. Check the bottom of these to see if they were marked. I have no clue what they are, but they look like um card card characters or so I just bought one of these. These are Ellie Smith glass turkeys. I bought the green one um, at another place, and the green one seems to sell better than the red amber color, but this one is in the light. It shines yellow, orange, red, and it has like a goldish flake. This was a slag glass chicken. I really like that one too. So I think the turkey was $17.50. The slag glass chicken was $22. This plate was $4.50. And now I'm running around to the other side because there is a blue um, dove oh and then I found these so they wanted only five dollars for this entire plate set because it did not have the teacups I, I think because it was the only thing that had a price on it so I think it was for the whole set I don't know we'll have to check it when we go back um, I don't know if I actually show the whole thing but this is a dove on a nest, and I think it was twelve fifty. And the H is, uh, I can't remember, Hazley, 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 something like that. And they go for pretty good amount. This was the carnival glass vase that I liked. It had an interesting top to keep all of the stems separated to make your bouquet look a little better. It wasn't a frog attachment, but it kind of did the same thing. I always check the Pyrex to see if there's patterns that I haven't seen, but they wanted twelve fifty, I think, for each one. They're cheaper if you find them at Goodwill. You just don't get the best ones from Goodwill. These were whole crab dishes. They were like twenty two fifty for the set. This one silver crest one was six fifty. These bookends were really cute. See, this is like the stuff I'm going to have to come back for because I just didn't have enough time to carry all this stuff up. It was $15 for this set. They were kind of lustery, pearlescent, and made in Japan. Here's my little plate pile. Found another celery dish at the booth next to it. I think that one was also RS Germany. or Bavaria. I'm not sure. That was just said Japan. A little ball pocket.
That was a nice face. I didn't even look at that one. Honestly, I didn't even see that there. I'm in such a rush trying to like scan things <laughs> really quick that I don't even notice big things that are right in front of me. I wonder what that vase was. The colors on there. Pretty. I'm glad I'm taking these videos so I can see things that I didn't see that were right in front of my face. Looking at plates again. little gnome things were cute. I think they were um, music boxes. Pixies? Gnomes? I don't know. What are they? Pixies? Some more glass. A lot of glass in this booth. Lennox. That one did not have the print in the bottom, Dragonware. This one said like Asian boy question mark. It's kind of funny. I was laughing a little bit. More glass. Little sleeping cat. This like carved wood. I think these were haul. I was confused as to why there was only one, and then there it is, the whole set. Each piece was priced individually. The little bowl was four ninety five. A lot of blue, a lot of glass. This little jewelry powder box thing was cute. Um, it said it was hand painted by someone. Didn't recognize the name. And I think it was $25. This one, her tag said, Fancy Vintage Lady. <laughs> Don't we all want to be fancy vintage ladies? That had way too much writing on it for me to read, but I did spot the word Inesco. Some little dolls. I used to love porcelain dolls when I was little. I had a quite a collection. Only have a few left. This was a cute shape of depression glass, pink. It was the only piece of depression glass there that I that I saw. Oh, there's a green one. Okay, it was the only one that stood out to me. That was extremely light when I picked it up. It's my stack of plates. That said Asian vessel or something. It made me laugh a little bit too. It's another one of those eye plates. I think they're, well, the other one from the other place was Italy. So I don't, I didn't check that one. I think it had a price tag of $40. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. $18 for the little spaghetti poodle. I don't know what they're really called, but they look like spaghetti. Like when you squeeze Play-Doh through one of those little machines. Swan. More salt and pepper shakers. 
These chickens were kind of cute, but not for $11.50 because that would be about what I would be able to sell them for. And only one of them had the stopper. And then I saw Raggedy Ann and Andy. They were plastic. And what is that? Is it Witchwood? Oh, they're plastic. I was very upset by that. They tricked me. That was a decanter. I looked at that last time I came. See, every booth has depression glass. So I feel like if every booth here has depression glass and every Goodwill has depression glass, I'm sure it is everywhere. This was $14.99. It was like a little pottery owl. Now I've lost my way. Ah, here it is. Here is the person I've been looking for. I almost went the wrong way. I really liked this vase. So that I came here for this particular booth and then I didn't even buy anything from him, I don't think. And I should have because I should have bought this. It was hand painted and it was in really good condition and it was only like $9.99. And I had to talk myself out of it to put it down. Why? Why didn't I just buy it? And then I found this and it was heavy and it was making noise and I had to figure out what it was. What is in here? So it was a leather case that snapped closed on the side and then had a leather disc that came off of the top. And then inside were these metal cups. And I know you can't read that, but it said World War II cup set and it was $20. It was very interesting. These were perfume bottles made in Bavaria, the top ones, the purple and yellow ones, and I think they were $19.99. Yes. I really like that purple and yellow contrast. Those look like Bristol glass, and he had them as bath containers, and I think he wanted $40 for the pair. This said Royal Bavaria on the bottom. And I don't know why I didn't buy this either. It was only $6.99. It was luster inside. There was no damage to it. It's a footed dish and it's pretty. Why, why didn't I buy it? This Fenton painted pig, I think it was Fenton, was like $60. Is it $60? And he looked sad, like, somebody please take me home, please. I go back to the dish, I inspect it more and more and more, I'm talking to myself about it, there's nothing wrong with it, and it's $6.99. Why? Why didn't I buy it? I don't know. Get yourself together, Heather. On my way out, I spotted this little teapot. Well, it's not little, it's pretty big. So it is $35, and that red stamp is 75% off, I think, or 50, 75 or 50. And it's very interesting. It's cute. And I, I wanted to look at the bottom so I could figure out. Hello, it is now the next day. And uh, I'm finally ready to show you everything that I got at the Antique Mall. Um, I just posted a shorter video of the first Antique Mall that I went to where I did not get a whole lot of footage, but I did show you everything that I bought. And now we're going to go through everything that I bought at this one. I did show you a lot more of inside of this place because they are very friendly here, very nice. And there's so much to look at. There's so many booths and they have great deals on everything. So a lot of the stuff you did see while I was walking around, but I did pick up some things at the end and I ran out of 
arm space because I was carrying everything and making trips up to the front to set it down and then coming back. <laughs> um, so I did grab some things that I wasn't able to show you because I couldn't hold the phone and carry all of my stuff at the same time. So let's go through everything that I got. I did buy a lot of planters and um, they had a lot of really cute planters there when I went this time. Um, so th <laughs> this one's cute. Uh, so this one I got is like a toy elephant and he's white with green polka dots. It's shiny. He's dirty on the inside. He needs to be cleaned out a little bit. And here's the bottom. He's not marked unless it's somewhere under the sticker um, that I didn't pull off yet. He's in really good con condition. He has no chips or cracks or anything like that. Um, there's some crazing on it, but you know, that's pottery, so that happens. Um, but he's a pretty good size and he's really cute. And he looks like a little stuffed toy. Look at that face. He's smiling, he's happy. He's got like stitch lines down here, like a stuffed animal would. He's cute. He's really cute. He would be a good addition to somebody's vintage planters. So I actually have a succulent garden. I'm obsessed with succulents and cactus, so I can always use these. You know, buy things that you would want to keep if they don't sell, and this would be one. I did not see any other ones of these listed anywhere, um, which makes it even harder for me to identify what kind of planter it is because I didn't see anything listed. There's no stickers or marks. Let me just lift this up and see if there's something hiding under here. I doubt it. Nothing. Okay, so this one says polka dot elephant planter, and I got him for six dollars. Six dollars. He's cute, don't you think? He's cute. I like it. Um, the next one that I found was this little planter. It's a little cat with pretty blue eyes. It's a nice color, kind of Egyptian looking, right? I think, kind of reminding me of that. Um, so he is marked on the bottom. Uh, Kafco, C-A-F-F-C-O. He has a sticker and he's made in Japan. It's the back. They all need to be cleaned out. They're still a little, a little dirty, but he's really cute. I did show this one at the beginning. Um, he was one of three that I grabbed. I don't think I grabbed that one at the beginning. Did I? No, no, I didn't. I grabbed him later, but he is one of the ones I showed you at the very beginning. Um, cute. I did not see any more of that exact one listed, but there are some of that brand listed and he was $8. <laughs> nice little planter collection. And the next one that I did show you at the beginning was this Cocker Spaniel. They're so cute. It like, amazes me that people would ever get rid of this kind of stuff because it's just adorable. Like, why would you get rid of it? But I'm happy they did because now I have it. So this one's um, very shiny compared to the other ones. Um, he's not marked either. Anywhere. A lot of crazing going on in this one. I'm sorry my voice sounds a little bit weird, but it's late at night and I've been up since 5 a.m. So bear with me a little bit. Um, but I also paid $8 for this one and he was in the first booth that I went in. Look at that. He's so cute. These things make me happy. I don't know about you, but like I get super happy about this kind of stuff. <laughs> and I hope that people who buy it get as happy as me with um, these finds. Um, this one was also in the first booth. This one is a little squirrel holding an acorn. It's very colorful. I did find other ones of these ones online in different colors. I don't know why they were all in different colors, but I did not figure out who the maker was yet, but I did see, I did see quite a few of these. Um, so this one is done in like blues, greens, and like a pinkish rosy color. 
he's a happy squirrel. He got his um, acorn. Kind of reminds me of uh, Ice Age carrying <laughs> the acorn. Um, and this one was also $8. So I think all the planters from the first place were eight dollars how much was the elephant six dollars six and eight i think that's a good deal good price and then the last planter that i found i was so excited i am 99 percent sure that this one is made by um shawnee I saw uh, other ones listed and these ones also came in different colors and I did see these listed on there and they had a marked as Shawnee so let's hope um, it's not marked oh it is marked it says USA 535 at the bottom this one I really don't want to list I, I really want to keep this one because it's it's that cute that I just want to keep it it's this little deer with a stump tree stump that you put your plant in and I did see these in different colors listed but this color combination is just cute it is really super super cute I don't want to list this one <laughs> I might list this one for too much so that nobody buys it and then I can justify keeping it because it didn't sell but it's really cute so here it is marked on the bottom probably can't see it because my phone, there we go, seven, I guess it says 535. And this one was $8 and it just says Vintage USA Pottery for $8. This one does have a mark on the back, but it's not, I don't know if it's chipped or not because it doesn't feel like a chip. So it might be a um, manufacturer defect because it's not rough, it's glazed over. So it might have just been a, a missed a missed spot, um, but this one is cute. So to show you the difference in size of these planters, right? And here's the little elephant. So a big difference in the sizes of these. Here's the cat. And these two are pretty similar. Here is the squirrel. Could you imagine having these all over your house or outside with plants in them? It, uh, it's amazing. It's amazing little sets. The deer though, the deer is my favorite. All right, so that was box number one. And then I found this little cat and he is not marked he does have a spot where there was a sticker that is now gone it does look very old um the sticker the sticker looks old <laughs> um it is not marked at all whatsoever it's super shiny it reminds me of something that would be japan like um otagiri kind of style um, this one just says small white laying cat and it was five but he was cute i thought cute face on that one and then I, ooh, another one um this is a goy bell goy bell goy, goy bell goy bell um this one's a little dog and this one is our marked goy goy bell West Germany. Um, it was five dollars, and then anything with this symbol on it is um, twenty-five percent off, I believe. I have my receipt for this one. So here he is, little West Germany dog. And then I found this Norataki Rosera. Rosera. Lemon, they have it listed as a lemon plate or a nappy plate, whichever one you like to call it. Um, but it's for the tea set. You like you put your lemons wedges on this one. This one is in good condition, but it is missing a little bit of the design right here. I think that this design is from the 1920s. So for it to just be missing that little bit of detail, and it's from the 1920s, I think it's okay. 
Um, so it is marked on the back and it does have the um, pattern name there, Rosera. Rosera. Um, so it was $7 and then this booth was 20% off, so I paid five something. Here, that one. I did show that in the video. Um, this is the one that I kept uh, setting down every booth I went. So I picked up the three planters first and took them to the front. And then I ran back and I found this plate. And then this plate, I kept sticking all of these little things on and carrying it from booth to booth, setting it down and then not being able to find it. And <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Get a basket or a cart. The best way to go. Shopping. Um, this was another one of the Goybel West Germany. Go, go bell, go bell, go bell. West Germany dogs. Um, he was also five dollars with the twenty five percent off. I did show these in the video. There was also a yellow bunny and a owl, and they were five dollars. I was gonna buy those two first because I thought they were the cutest ones, um, but they weren't on sale. And then I saw these ones and they were twenty five percent off, so I bought these instead of the two that I actually wanted to buy. But this is a little poodle. It's kind of hard to see because they use all the same color. It makes it a little more difficult to see. But he is stamped on the bottom with the logo and West Germany. And they do have uh, lot numbers or something on, this, on the bottom as well. That hole made me think they were salt and pepper shakers for a minute, but they're not. He's got his tongue out. Let me see his tongue. <laughs> Cute. Alright, so those are that. What else did we find? Speaking of Otagiri, this one is marked Otagiri Japan on the bottom. It's a little rubbed off. It is a heart shaped trinket box with this cute little kitty sitting on top. Very shiny, very Japan. I did not open it, it is taped closed, probably so that the pieces don't get taken to other places and lost. I should have probably opened it while I was there to make sure, but no marks. It doesn't look like it was ever used at all, except for a little bit of the missing um, name. But So the, the rims are usually not glazed to help them sit on the table a little bit better without sliding all over the place. And usually in this non-glazed part, um, you see like dark rings or dark marks from sliding across the table a lot on salt and pepper shakers and things like that. Um, but it's also, you know, where it was sitting in the uh, kiln when it was being fired. So obviously that part doesn't go through the same process that the rest of the thing does. But normally you see a lot of dark marks and things on that part of the some whatever the thing is from being on tables and moving across and getting dirty they're porous so the dirt and stuff will stick inside but this one doesn't have any any marks on the bottom at all whatsoever that is really cute this would be a cute little gift for someone for the holidays coming Anakin. all right and then i found i didn't open all of these but i found all of these little figurines that were in bags and most of them were only a dollar so Maybe I should just take them out so you can actually see. So this one was a dollar, and he has a sticker on the bottom. Um, it's I can't read what the brand is. I see a C O W A, and then Japan. So I probably can find the brand. But he's this little toad. Just a little glazed toad. And he's got this little sticker down there, so I can probably figure out from what's left of the sticker what he is. But for one dollar, he's cute. You know, if you like planters, these go good in the little plants, like decorate your soil part. Um, I don't know if I'd do it with a frog though, because I'd be, I probably would end up scaring myself thinking it's an actual frog, right? Um, this one I thought was really cute too, and then when I got it home, I noticed that there was something weird on the little owl, and I think something's broken off of it, but 
might just keep the little owl. So I think this is a dog. These were made in Taiwan. I think this is a dog. I'm not sure. What do you think? It's a dog. It's just a cute little bisky. I think it's bisque. Tiny figurine. This would be really good if you have those, um, what do they call them? I'm so tired. I'm sorry. Um, those uh, painter, no, not painter. You know the old trees that people hang on the wall? I can't think of what the word is right now. But the little display cases that were drawer things with all the little slots. And people hang them on the wall with the little things in it. This would be good for that. So those are cute. And then this is the little owl. And it's really the reason I wanted it was for this owl. And then I noticed there's something on the forehead there that looks like it was broke off. Because it is sharp. I don't know what that is. This little owl is really, really cute. And he has the little Taiwan thing too. So yeah, and those little trays, I think these would be cute if you collect those little knickknacks. Or sticking them in your plants. And they have holes on the bottom. So you could put a stick and then stick it in there and then stick it in your soil so he stands up. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. All right. And then the next set, these ones were $5. They're a little bit bigger. And they came with three pieces. These ones were made in China. Not everything from China is bad. Don't get me wrong. So this one has a mama cat and a baby and another little baby. So a little three piece set. They're very shiny glazed. The mama looks like it's nap time. <laughs> like it's nap time for these kittens. She looks a little unhappy or tired. I know the feeling. I do. Um, these ones do have the made in China on the bottom. I think these ones are more porcelain or glass than um, the bisque like the other ones were. But they have a nice shine to them. And they're, they're, they're really cute. I like them. My daughter would love to keep these if they don't sell. She would be very happy to. So. It's bad that I always think about like keeping the things that don't sell. This one was also a dollar in the back. Sorry, the little sticker thing is like sealing it closed. Um, this one is marked Japan on the bottom. This one is weird. I can't tell what it is. It has a nice glaze to it, but it almost feels plastic, but it's not. It's glass. It's a weird, it's a weird material. Um, but this one is like a little kitten licking his paw. He's a little bit bigger. Um, so for size, here's the little bisky ones. Two of those. A little cat. Um, he doesn't have a lot of detail on him, but he's, he's still cute. Again, I think these would be really cute in planter pots. Just throwing that out there as an idea in case you don't know what to do with all your little knicky knicks. And you don't have any more room on your little shelves. That's what I would do. And then these two, these two have that same kind of weird plasticky glass feel. Um, they don't have any kind of marks or stickers. I don't know where these ones were made. Uh, this one's like a little yawning cat. He's sleepy. These ones kind of have the coloring of a Siamese. And then this one is just sitting pretty. Sitting pretty little cat. And it looks like he kind of has a greenish tint to his eyes. I can't really see it here, but I can see it in the camera. I like the little yawning one. That's me. I feel you. I feel you, little cat. Um, so I'll probably list them in the sets that they are in. If it was a single, I'll list it as a single. Um, so that was all of the little figurines. Those you did not see. I'm not sure if I showed this one or not, but I thought this was extremely cute. So I saw this little box of um, glass figurines, and there were two in there that I really liked. 
um, but I only ended up taking one because inside the box they didn't have the tags actually on them. The tags were just laying in the box. And in most places, if you bring something up without a tag, they tell you that they need to reprice it and then you can buy it. And I didn't want to be that person that needed that. So I took one that I liked the most and I brought up the tag and then they said it was fine and then I was gonna run back and then I didn't. So we only have the one. But it is this little pigeon looking, I don't know, is it a pigeon? Bird? And it's like a little art glass bird. His feet are red, his body is tan, and then his uh, wings up are tan with like a dark brown swirl. He's got little, uh, little black eyes and little beak. And he sits like uh, that, like he's getting ready for flight. Oh, he's cute. He was four dollars, and um, I think he's really cute. <laughs> I just think everything is cute, and I buy stuff that I like, so that's probably why. He's cute. I'm afraid I'm gonna break him though. Let's just stick him off to the side. Okay, and then last but not least, I found these pretty, sorry about that. Um, I don't know exactly what you would use these for. Maybe dessert bowls. I'm not sure. They're very small. Maybe they're saucers. I don't know, but they're cute. They're kind of like bowls. They have a really nice rose pattern inside. They are made by RS Persia, Germany. So in this design, I bought four. They were $2 each. Those ones did not have the price. Of course not. That one did not either. They were $2 each. And I bought four of those ones. And then these ones are also RS Persia. And there were three of these. And it just says dish. So I don't know. Are these saucers? These are not saucers. They're little bowls. Well, what would you do with these little bowls? Is the question. Are they ashtrays? So these ones have, um, it has a flat spot, I don't know if you can see, so there's a flat spot here and there's a flat spot here, and all three of these ones have that flat spot. So if you know what these are for, please let me know, because I would like to know. Yep, I'll have it. So here's all of them, they were $2 a piece, I paid, or I got four of these, they actually had six or eight of these ones and then there were only three of these ones left and they are marked rs persia on the back these ones do not oh yeah they do they do have the germany mark it's over here on the bottom just can't really see it so that is that okay so in the video um, there was that covered dish that was for $6.99 that said like Royal Bavaria. Um, I'm probably going to go back to get that. And then there was also a vase that I showed at the beginning of the video, that booth that I might go back and get also. I can't remember what the brand was, but it's in there. Um, I found a lot. And then I also found, I'm going to insert a picture in here, um, a Fenton three Fenton little figurines. I don't know how much they sell for, so I'm gonna have to go back and look. But there was a lot of stuff there and I'm definitely going back there. I did not have enough time. I had to run through. I don't know if you could tell in the video, but I was like <laughs> rushing to get through there because I had to go pick the kids up from school. So next time I'm gonna go there first so that I can spend the majority of the time there and then stop at the other place because there's not a whole lot there for me to buy. So I'm going to stop at the other place on the way 
back and it's closer to the schools. So that makes more sense. So what in here was your favorite? What did you see in the video that I missed? Because reviewing the video, I saw a lot of things that I didn't even notice or like pick up. Why? Oh, that's because I was rushing. So point out the things that I missed and let me know so that I can go back and look at it again and buy it. And then I'm gonna go back for some more stuff that I didn't have time <laughs> to grab. And can you believe those $225 salt and pepper shakers? Why? I didn't even look at the brand. I didn't even pick them up because I saw the price tag and I was like, mm, mm -mm. that was, to buy those salt and pepper shakers would be more than what I spent for the whole day. All right, so I have no idea what I'm gonna price all of this stuff at because I haven't really looked it up. These bowls, I have no clue what to list them at, but at least double what I paid. So this was $6, so for the three of these, minimum of 12, and then four of these would be eight, so a minimum of 16, but I will be listing each set of those. Um, these little figurines that I bought will probably this set that was five, I'll probably list at 10 to 12. All these sets that were a dollar, I'll probably list at five, five dollars. Um, the little frog, I don't know. I might keep the little frog. I like toads. I think they're cute. Um, so the dollar ones, I'll probably list for five. Um, these little West Germany ones, I think um, I paid like or something like three something I lost my receipt again I'm really bad about that um these will probably list for maybe 10 10 to double um the little cat probably the same 10 to 12 10 probably 10 um this little otagiri oh I paid 522 $5.22 cents for this um I'll probably list this for 15 maybe around 15 12, 15, somewhere around there. This one, I'm probably not going to list, <laughs> but I did see them listed for about $25, 30, 25, 20 to 30. It was a while ago that I looked, so bear with me. Um, and these ones that I paid six and eight dollars for, I'll probably list them for somewhere around 20, 18 to 20 each for these. Um, the little glass bird I might keep because he's just cute, too cute. Um, and this that I paid five something for, I'll probably list for 10, 12, 10 to 12, somewhere. Shipping on this one won't cost very much, so that'll be fine. Okay, so that's the video. I'm rambling now because I'm tired and I don't know, I don't know what to do with my, myself. So I'm gonna go to bed now. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know what your favorite items were. Please let me know if you saw something that I missed in the video so I can go back and look. And uh, Depression and Carnival Glass, I'm not really that interested in. I do like Cobalt Blue Glass. Um, I do have one set of dessert cups um, that I really like. They're goblet kind of wine goblet. I don't know. I call them dessert cups. I think they would be good for ice cream. Um, I do have one set of those. I'm not really into the Pink Depression Glass. I don't really like it that much. There was a carnival vase that I picked up that had a very interesting top on it. I did kind of like that one, um, but the rest of it doesn't really interest me too much. If it does to you, let me know. Um, the nested things I like, that was the other thing. The nested dove, it was a dove on a nest. That one I liked and I might go back for it because it wasn't very much. I think it was like $12 and the, the nesting things sell pretty well. And I also don't like milk glass. I just, I just don't. The Fenton milk glass with the, the silver trim or the opalized ones or the, what do they call Like silver ruffle, something like that. Those ones I kind of like a little, but regular milk glass and depression glass, you find it everywhere. You find it at Goodwill, you find it at these antique malls. It's full of it. And it doesn't sell well. It, it's it's readily available everywhere. So I just don't feel like it's that interesting. It doesn't sell well. It's, it's not worth it. 
and it's not something that I would want to keep if it doesn't sell. There are certain pieces that I do like. I like the fairy lights. I like the fairy light. I'm sorry, that's my couch. <laughs> um, I do like the fairy lights. I do like interesting vases, looking ones, but all of that very basic stuff I'm not really that interested in and I don't want to be stuck with all of that if it does not sell and I know it's not going to because it's everybody can find it so other than depression glass and other than the carnival glass what did I miss my Etsy shop will be linked below all of this stuff will be listed soon from both of these videos and I also started an Instagram I have like 15 followers so if you would like to come follow me that would be great I will follow you back and um I don't know what I'm doing on there. It's the first time I've ever had Instagram. I'm too, too old for that, I guess. <laughs> but I'm hoping it'll help out my shop. So go like me. Go check out my Etsy shop. So like, follow me. Go follow me on Instagram and um, check out my Etsy shop. And um, I can't wait to see what you think. So good night and thank you for watching.